Hello, type choice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create and add a guide in Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I have created a new Illustrator document. This is an A4 size that doesn't really matter. So how do you actually add and create guides in Illustrator? That is actually really simple to do. So the first thing you want to do is to actually turn on rulers. So you can do that by going up to view, go down to rulers right here and choose show rulers. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control R right here. And as you can see, when you press on this, these two extra boxes right here with all of these numbers has now been added to our workspace. And these are actually used for creating our guides. So to create a guide on our document now, we can either press on the top right here if we want guides horizontally, or we can press here if we want them vertically. So let's try to create a guide vertically. Just set your mouse right here and click, and then drag into your artboard. And as you can see, this line is now appearing. And when you let go, you can see that we have now created a guide. You can do the same thing if you want a guide vertically. So just press on the top right here, click and hold, drag down where you want your guide to be, and just let go. And as you can see, we have now two guides on our document. You can always move a guide by just clicking on it and just drag it to the side. You can either drag it to the right side or the left side. And if you want to delete it, you can always just select it and hit the delete button. Okay, so let's say we have a lot of different guides on our document and we are currently working on a design. They can be quite uh, distracting and annoying sometimes because you really easily remove them by accident. So we also have the option to lock the guides so we cannot move them while we are designing. And the way we do that is by going up in view, go down to guides right here. And as you can see, we have these different options. And we can actually lock the guides if we press on this. And as you can see, if we try to select our guides now, nothing happens. And that's because they are now locked to the artboard. So now we can just assign as we would like and follow the guides. And we can always unlock them by going up in view, guides and unlock guides. And now we can move them again. If you want to hide our guides, that is also an option. So to do that, we will have to go up to view and guides again and just choose hide guides. And all of our guides on our document is now been hidden. And if you want them back, go to the same space, view, guides and show guides. And as you can see, they are now back. We can also delete them and we could just select them all and delete them. But if we have multiple artboards, we can do it a little faster by just going up in view again, choose guides and clear guides. And when you press on this, all of the guides will disappear. So yeah, that is actually how to quick guides and a little about how to use them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.